Okay, let's see if this works. I'm sorry guys, I don't know what happened. You just went kind of blank. Oh, you may still be blank. I'll give it a couple of minutes and see what happens. Oh no, people! Somebody say something. <laughs> there's, there's, there's life. We're back. Sorry about that, kids. I don't know what the fuck happened. Welcome back, guys. Sorry about that. I couldn't really carry on without being able to see what you guys were saying. It would literally be the most boring thing ever. <laughs> Hello everybody, I think we've got some new people as well, hello, we're back, kind of. Uh, um. Hello people. I swear my internet is getting worse. Don't get virgin, guys. <laughs> Cheers for answering questions. You're very welcome. Thanks for asking questions. Otherwise, this would be really, really boring for everybody, including me. The oh, straightener wire is getting tangled up. I'm back. <laughs> Why does this happen? I haven't even curled it up. It's just... It must just be from the motion. For fuck's sake. Anything special planned for today? I am going to uh, the post office, so you know. If you regard that as special, then yeah. Um, and I am going to get my nails done. And I'm going to get coffee, because that's what I do. But yeah, I'm posting all um, your calendars and things today. Oh, I've gone blurry. I'm sorry. I'm moving around too much. Whew. That was better blurry. Has anybody got any questions before I go? Thank you guys. Seriously, this hair has been a, a huge stress. <laughs> the panic of like thinking I was going to go bald at one point. The hair just actually sent me home um, without blow drying my hair. She just put deep conditioner on it and said, let's just, let's just leave it for tonight. <laughs> That's when you know your hair is fucked. So yeah, it was a close call. I think it's going to have to stay purple for a couple of years now. <laughs> I am still so impressed by the amount of Ramstein fans. I done good on here. Do you go to many gigs? Um, not as many as I would like. I'm, when I was a teenager, I used to just go to every gig under the sun, but now I'm an old lady. Um, I prefer to just go to gigs of bands that I really, really love. So Ramstein I've seen three times. Um, but they don't often tour over here anymore. They just kind of do festivals, which I'm not really into. Um, I saw Gary Newman this year. I'm waiting for Cell Dwellers to come back. Um, he played in Newcastle about four or five years ago, and I missed it, and he's never come back since. So, yeah, I, I will go. i just got to wait for the bands I like to come over to the UK, really. Sorry, I have a tendency to ramble. I don't even, I don't watch my lives back because I just don't want to hear what shit I'm just feeling. I'm an old lady at heart and slowly on the outside. <laughs> uh, what's your favourite band scene in live? Yeah, the Ramstein, definitely. Um, we saw them once at Manchester Apollo. Um, once at Manchester Arena, which was with Apocalyptica, which was incredible. I ended up buying an Apocalyptica shirt rather than a Ramstein shirt. They were so good. 
Um, and then we saw Ramstein in 2009, I think it was, um, at Wembley, and that was absolutely epic. That's probably the best gig I've ever been to. I'm going to go soon, I've got maybe three sections left and then I'm going to have to go and actually get on with life, I'm afraid. So yeah, any burning questions, I'll get them in now. I'm missing any girls on here today. I've normally got a couple of girls just that can talk hair with me or something. There's no girls. Come on, men with long hair, tell me about your hair woes. I promise next time I will do a live where I'm not actually busy. So, I mean, what kind of things do you want me to do? I don't just want to sit and awkwardly stare at you all while I wait for questions. Like, give me ideas of things I could be doing <laughs> while you ask me questions. <laughs> I used to have a bunny to run around and entertain me and keep me company, but obviously he is no more, so I need to rent a pet. Um, what's your worst festival experience? That's quite a good question, but I have actually never been to a festival, so um, I'm not a camping kind of gal. Also, I pee every half an hour, so it just it just wouldn't work. I'm not a girl, but I have purple long curly hair. That definitely counts. How do you make it so purple? How do you have a nice bathroom? And how do you get by in the rain? Tell me these secrets. Right, you've got about five or six minutes, I think, of this excitement, because obviously there's too much for people to handle in large doses. Can you show your foot? Which one? How would I choose? You could try a cooking live video. Oh, that could kind of work. I don't know how you put it with the requests on here. I'd be demented. I know, you just kind of skim past them. I only really half read. I can just see if a comment's going to be good. So I just, just look at those ones. Select few. And make a mental note to block and delete later. I'm quite concerned the calibre of um, kind of people on here at the minute has dropped. And I block, I genuinely block about 25 people a day. So I keep thinking that it's going to balance out, but there's just more weirdos on the internet than there are nice people you get them essays done fuck you <laughs> I've done a whole hundred words this morning I'll have you know I know I need a break I need a break my brain I can't form sentences anymore Speed reading, mental isn't it, how many strange people there are, yeah, it is. 
There should be a test before you can access the internet. What the fuck is wrong with this wire? <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Italy is the perfect place where you can take a break. That sounds nice. It would be easier to travel from Switzerland to Italy as well. <laughs> Thinking ahead. Right, two minutes, guys. Any burning questions that you just have to get off your chest? Oh, good morning, California. Uh, evil Eye Bar or House of Trembling Madness? Is that, I need to choose between the two? It's going to be Evil Eye. I never go in House of Trembling Madness, I'm afraid, except to buy bottles of booze. <laughs> Although Evil Eye's not what it used to be. I miss the old days. Bye, people going. I will be joining you soon. Okay, I think we may be done. Mm, it's as good as it's going to get. <gasps> Celebrity crush. I like that. That's a good question. I love Nathan Fillion, if anybody knows who that is. Um, except when he's got really long hair at the back. That's, it looks a bit creepy. <laughs> but I still do him anyway. <laughs> I'm good like that. Right guys, I think I am done. So I'm actually going to put some clothes on now. I might keep the socks on. <laughs> uh, da -da -da. I bought an apple pie whiskey from there a couple of years ago. I'm guessing you mean House of Trembling Madness. Nice. Nobody bought me any gin this year. What, what I thought everybody is going to overload me with gin and I'm going to have too much. And nobody bought me any, so now I've got no gin. So that was rude. <laughs> and I like rhubarb gin because I'm a girl. Would you make a band of your own? No, because that would kind of de be dependent on musical ability. And uh, you can really tell from my voice that I have none. I think we may be done. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody who um, had positive things to say. Um, for the ones that didn't, you will be blocked, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, so I'll come back soon. And I'm going to think, if you want to DM me any ideas of what... I can do next time other than straightening my hair. Well, this is very convenient for me because it's boring straightening your hair and you make it interesting. So it's a very selfish choice on my part. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to head off. Um, I'll see you soon.